another uh, cool feature worth mentioning is um, when you when you take a picture, the API will do its best to identify key points of interest in an image. So if we look here um, at, at this image here, we've got three blue boxes, and those are called bounding boxes. So down here we've got some sunglasses, a bag, and some um, we've got a watch. And then over to the right here, you'll see that the API has been able to identify like the you know each each component that forms this picture that may be of interest. So um, it's it's identified all three parts that are that it feels that are important in the image, and then it's when it's made a, a call out to the web and it's pulled back similar products. So that actually opens up quite a lot of possibilities as well. So you get everything down to the to the description, um, the price range, even down to the ratings on some of them. Um, again, there's just a lot you can do with that, with that with those data points. From a developer's perspective, um, I mean, this is a common theme, right? And this is this applies across the board, and isn't just specific to the Bing search APIs. It applies to like the whole of the cognitive services stack. Is that consuming these APIs is is relatively straightforward for developers. Um, and there's a few different ways that you can you can integrate them. You can uh, you know handcraft the code in a language of your choice, whether it be you know a, a .NET language or uh, another variant or JavaScript for argument's sake. Um, you can consume the REST endpoints directly, or uh, for most of the the cognitive services APIs, you can actually just use a, a dedicated SDK, which encapsulates a lot of the uh, the low level calls. That like a developer would often have to make, um, so it just shields you from the building up the low-level REST uh, requests. And what we're actually looking at here in this code extract is um, a real-life code example of um, the API being called. Now, granted, there are some functions in here or methods, um, and we've got the code for this uh, on the GitHub um, repo online, which we can share at the end of this, the session. Um, but effectively, it's you know, it's less than 50 lines of code to harness the power of the visual search API. Uh, typically what it involves is getting the image binary or the location and then uh, constructing the request and then sending it over to the, to the API. 